Hi, this is KBeast, and uh, welcome to another speed paint. For uh, this week's video, I decided to show the creation of the channel logo. Um, I went into this um, thing knowing exactly how I wanted it to look. I wanted the channel name with the channel mascot drawn over the top. Um, so here you can see I just quickly picked a font that I liked um, that worked with the sketch that I had done in my sketchbook and then just lowered the opacity and went right, right to drawing. I'm not a topography expert. <laughs> I took one graphic design class in community college like five years ago and yeah, it, it, so I apologize <laughs> if anybody who knows a thing about topography watches this because I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, so um, as for the mascot, as you can see, I have drawn out a snake. Uh, specifically, I am drawing my snake. I have a boa constrictor that I've had since December of 1998. Um, he's he's going to be 17 in October, which is amazing to think about. I've had him since I was 10, so it's like amazing. Um, anyway, he is specifically a what is was called in the uh, reptile. Um, pet industry, um, sometimes called a common boa constrictor, or a Colombian boa, or a Colombian red tail boa, but his scientific name is boa constrictor imperator. Uh, true red tail boas are boa constrictor constrictor, um, and the difference is that true red tails wind up being a lot bigger than uh, than than uh, BCIs. So. So yeah, we didn't know the difference back then, but I do now. Um, so his name is Diamond, and you can see I've pulled up some photos of him for visual reference for his colors and patterns and stuff. Um, he's fully grown. Like I said, he, he's, he's almost 17, so um, his species lives between 20 to 30 years on average, although some in captivity have lived as old as 40. Um, I don't know if he's going to live, I don't know if I'm going to get him to live as old as 40, but I'm hoping to get at least another 10 years out of him, that would be nice. Um, cause he's my baby, you know. I, I know some people are like, he was a snake, but they've been my favorite animal since I was five. Like, I think I asked my parents for a pet snake when I was five, and they kind of went, oh, okay. And, uh, I really got, they, they did it right. They like, made me do research for like five years before they finally got me one. I had to know how to take care of them, I had to narrow down the species that I wanted, and what they eat and had to be able to handle one and all that fun stuff. Oh, <laughs> I have a 90s Pandora channel going right when I'm drawing this, so I got a little excited about the music. But anyway, so, so yeah, so I got him um, almost 17 years ago and he's doing pretty good. Um, what was I saying? Right, so he's fully grown. Um, males, uh, BCIs, max out. Um, around six to seven feet, and he's been that length since he was about five years old, so he is, he's not going to get any bigger. Um, females usually get a little bit bigger, seven to eight feet, I think, maybe slightly larger. Um, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> diamonds and shed. Um, the shed cycle for snakes can last about two weeks. Their eyes cloud over blue um, as they're growing the new shed underneath. And then they clear up and then they shed after. And Diamond gets really grumpy when he's in shed. Um, I recorded this maybe a week ago and his eyes are still blue. So he's not he, he's not too happy right now. He gets all hissy and doesn't want me touching him. So yeah, I'm going to have to leave him alone until he's done with it. But that'll, but that'll be okay. He, he's older now so he only sheds three, four times a year. When he was younger it was more frequent. But once his growth slowed down, not as much. Um, but yeah, so I've I've drawn him many times. Um, like I said, I've had Diamond almost 17 years now, and so I've I did drawings of him like from day one, pretty much. I've done a couple of paintings um, when I was at Mass Art last year. I did like a homework project in a watercolor class of him and my friend Derek, and which turned out pretty cool and started a really fun conversation during critique. <sighs> I had this one girl uh, trying to convince me of this common story of someone with a snake and the snake stretched out to measure them because it was going to eat the owner kind of thing and and I had to sit down and talk to her and be like, no, no, that's not a real story. Snakes don't do that. 
if anybody here thinks they do, you need to look it up and trust me when I say they don't do that. If any predator's method of hunting were to measure their food, they would starve. It would not work. Um, snakes are ambush predators. They wait for the food to come to them. They grab it. They eat it. They're done. Um, so yeah, and, and in regards to that, diamonds are actually due for a rat. <laughs> I was supposed to feed him this week, but then he woke up with blue eyes, and you can't really feed them when they're going in shed. You can't handle them too much. They get stressed out. They get moody. Makes the shed bad, which isn't healthy. So he's gonna have to wait till he's done to eat. Um, as for what he eats, he eats frozen rats. I thaw them out first. Um, he gets one every two to three weeks, somewhere in that range. I like to give myself a few days uh, of a window to get it in there, just in case. You know, we have to do stuff because defrosting that takes a few hours. So I like to have a good stretch of time to get it done. But, yep, there's my baby. Um, so I, I probably should have talked about the art more. <laughs> I, I did very basic stuff, kind of the same stuff with Bobby Joe. Um, selecting, filling in the color, I, I did details over top, and uh, I did gradients on a multiply layer to get shadow, and then I used an airbrush on a screen layer to bring out some highlights. I didn't want this piece to be too busy, because I knew with Diamond's Patterns it would already have a lot going on anyway. And it was a logo, I wanted it to read from a small size, so I just wanted the basic impression of, you know, what a boa constrictor looks like, and over the name, and, and I'm just, you know, putting a little subtitle thing in, and I had to play around with the positioning. That grid thing on Photoshop is amazing though. I, I didn't even realize that was there until recently and boy has that helped. So yeah, so there is Diamond on the name and yep. I like how it turned out. Um, it works as a logo so. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe and find me on the internet, social media and um, yeah, check out my other video and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.